Welcome to the Revolution 11 video, setting up a MySQL database, the Bluehost edition. Hi, this is Jim from Revolution 11. I'll be walking you through today's demo. In this video, we will be setting up a MySQL database to capture data from our smart thing. Creating the database. Sign on to your Bluehost account and click on the Advanced tab, then click on MySQL Databases. Under the Create New Database heading, type in the name of the database and then click on the Create database button below. You should get a success message. Click on the go back link below the message. This will take us back to the databases homepage. Scroll down and you'll see the new database has been added to the list of databases. Scroll down to create a user for this database. Type in a username, a password, and confirm the password. Then click on the Create User button. You should get a success message. Click on the Go Back link below the message. Now we're going to add this user to our database. Scroll down and under Add User to Database, select the user you just created, and then select the database you just created, and then click on the Add button. This is going to be our full access user. So we're going to select all privileges and then click the make changes button and then go back. Now we're going to make a user just for our IOT button. Scroll down to add new user, enter a username, a password, and confirm the password and then click on Create User. Add this user to the database just like you did the full access user. We don't need to give our IoT button full access permissions, so just use the privileges here. Click on the Make Changes button and then go back. Make a note of both your full access and button users' names and passwords, as well as the name of your database. You will need these later. You will also need to know the name of the host of your database. To find this, click on Domains in the menu bar to the left. Before we can work with our database on our local computer, we need to record our computer's IP address in a table on our service provider's site so that we can access the MySQL database. First, let's get our IP address. Simply go to Google and type in, what's my IP? Now, let's add our IP address to the whitelist up on Bluehost so we can work with the database from our computer. Click on Advanced on the menu bar to the left and choose Remote MySQL. Add the IP address to the host field, and it's a good idea to add the name of your computer or service that is accessing the database in the comments field. Click on the Add Host button. Working with the database. We're going to be using dBeaver in this example. This is a great cross-platform application that you can use to work with many kinds of SQL databases. It allows you to use both SQL statements or a GUI editor to work with your databases. So before we begin, download and install dBeaver. When you first open the application, you will be prompted to select a database. Choose MySQL and then the Next button below. Let's enter all of the details necessary to connect to our hosted MySQL database. Enter the host name, the default port for MySQL, which is 3306, your database name, and your full access username and password, 
and press the Test Connection button. Since we've not connected to a MySQL database yet, we will be prompted to download a driver for the database. Click on the Download button in the lower right-hand corner. Press the Test Connection button one more time, and you should be able to successfully connect to your database. You will get a pop-up asking if you want to create a sample database. Since we've already created a database, we're going to click No. A tip of the day will show up every time you start the app, unless you deselect the Show Tips on Startup checkbox. Close the window to start working with your database. Click on the connection to your hosted MySQL instance in the panel to the left and open up the Disclosure Triangle so we can see the MySQL directory. Open up the Disclosure Triangle for the databases and you will see the database that we created earlier. So let's create the table and columns that we will need to capture data from an IoT button. Select the database, right-click, Select Create, and then choose Table. Click on the Properties tab and name the table. Now let's go ahead and create the columns. Select the database, right-click, select Create, and then Column. The Properties pop-up will appear. We're going to name the column ID and give it a data type of integer it will not be null and it will auto increment. Press the OK button. Create a second column. Uh, we're going to name this one button JSON with the data type of text. Click on the OK button. Next, we're going to create the primary key for this table. Right click on constraints and choose create constraint. Click on the checkbox next to ID and choose Save from the File menu or Command-S to save the changes to your database. You should get a confirmation pop-up. Click on the Persist button in the lower right-hand corner to make those changes in the hosted database. If you get an error message, you may have been disconnected from the database while setting up these changes. Right-click on the MySQL instance and choose Invalidate Reconnect to establish a new connection. The last step in getting IoT data into our SQL database is to allow the IP address of the serverless app sending the button data access the database at your service provider. For Bluehost, Click on Advanced in the menu bar and choose Remote MySQL and add the IP address for the serverless app just like you added the IP address for your computer earlier. We have a video about configuring your AWS VPC or Virtual Private Cloud so that your serverless app has an IP address on this channel, so check that out. Congratulations, you should be able to use your serverless app with your hosted MySQL database. And this completes the setting up a MySQL database video. You can find more videos about using your existing resources with the cloud on this video channel. See you next time. Do you need help getting started with the cloud or IoT? Contact Revolution 11. We'd love to chat.